It's a wild night here on the carpet for Fox's new comedy, Animal Control. I'm Sari Cohen. Let's take a first look. This gentleman's bunnies ate his drugs. What kind? Floppy-eared, fluffy. No, 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 the drugs. What kind of drugs? <laughs> it's my first week. I should really wait for backup. I can see that you're stressed out. We just got a 911 on a bear, get this, in a hot tub. He looks so relaxed. Did he turn the jets on? So I play Emily, who is the boss kind of the newish boss in the office and she's over her head she doesn't have any administrative you know like authoritative experience so she's very um in over her head and doesn't know what she's doing and she has like kind of crippling anxiety and awkwardness which is really fun to play I feel like she's um it's the character closest to me that I've ever gotten to play before I I feel like I, I really I really get her and her and her just people pleasing totally anxious and weird and awkward vibes um, but she's mostly in the office holding things down um, on the administrative side and so I didn't get as many scenes with animals that I wanted to but um, I got to kind of hold it down in the office because it's kind of a office comedy meets like out in the field comedy so we kind of have a weird little hybrid. Oh, it's huge. Grab the head. You grab the head. You keep going that way. Come on, get on me now. What is the most thrilling animal you've gotten to work with so far? And the most, and, well, on the show, and the most terrifying. I don't have, oh, I guess the ostriches are the most, those are the ones you, I mean, they weren't, they were super friendly, but uh, adult ostriches will kill you if you get near their eggs. And they're, uh, kick uh, can disembowel a lion so they are uh very powerful creatures and they're and they peck but they're not they're not trying to eat you or they're not pissed they're just that's what they do and they, they uh, and they run 45 miles an hour so they're way like i think people think they're ridiculous animals and it's like they are super serious great they're great they chased him all over the place and he was hilarious it was great Neighbor complaint on licensed ostrich farm. Should I be concerned? They are violent and have famously bad temperaments. It's bad, Frank. It's starting to feel extremely targeted. I, I am so interested to see where your character goes. What can you tell us about him? Like, what's what's the general description of him and and his uh, what what he's doing? Oh man, well, Shred. He's a he's a very kind naturally loving person he thinks the best of people off the rip and i think he really leads with that but then as the season progresses you know he gets more comfortable at the precinct and i think he gets a little more comfortable showing maybe his competitive side and you know being a little bit more of a bastard really not a bad person but he shows you know he's not a completely what's the word he's not an angel i worked with the tarantula that when you're around them enough, I swear to you, once you get to know them, they're like, oh, this is not nearly as, if you if you get scared of the appearance, and then you start, you're getting around, you're like, oh, this thing is so mellow, and they, they you have to kind of move them to get them to do, because they're just happy to be, there you go. Oh my gosh. Yeah, see? I absolutely am in love with this show. I'm so happy you like it. So let's talk about your character. What are we going to see from her this season? She's a loose unit. I mean, I don't know what you call it here. Loose unit. She's a real wild card. A free spirit, I think is probably the best way to put it. So she's definitely a yes person, goes with the flow. Any opportunity that presents itself, she's like, I'm, I'm going in. You know, she, doesn't, she wants to live her life to the fullest. All the cliches, she's living them. <laughs> she's great. I love her. There's so many qualities that I just, uh, watching you, I'm like, ah, yes. I, I need to be that person. Uh, no, I feel the same because that is, I'm not a free spirit. I think also like um, Victoria is sort of one of the only girls in this male dominated workplace. And so I think she has to hold her own. It's rare when a hero is also so funny. <laughs> you know, my grandmother had a hard time with stairs, but you know, she found a way to do it. Animal Control premieres February 16th on Fox.